If you can, there's no time like the present to do a media fast. I know that's really difficult because you want to know what's happening and, and sometimes you want to be on the cutting edge of this, but let yourself do a, a media fast, you know, uh, let yourself get into a space where you also just connect deeply with the inner world rather than the outer world. Cultivate friendships that are supportive and people who can listen to you, sincerely listen to you, that can hear, uh, that you notice they can hear what you're not saying as much as what you are saying. Be true and real and whole and cherish the friendships that you have that are uh, people who you can trust and who you know love you and that you want to really demonstrate and feel and know love very tangibly at this time on the planet. Let yourself treat your physical body really, really well. It's very important. It's another thing here. If this is our vehicle for the divine, all of this is showing us to treat your physical body really well. And so again, that symbol here that we're all having is just, just put the mask on. It kind of makes, in, in my world, you know, when I meditate, I often will put um, a veil on me of some kind, you know, a scarf or something, especially in places like India, when I've been in, in different temples or, or different um, places, I would always put a head covering on me because it was sort of just this, uh, the symbol of it made me feel like I was going into an insular world. Well, I've felt like when I've gone on the street with a mask on, that for me, it's, I'm smiling for myself. And uh, I, I don't think of that often, um, that even my smile can be just for myself right now. It makes me feel more loving and connected to myself and my well-being. It's just a symbol for me, the same way buying organic food is a symbol for me, that I'm connecting with the farmers and I'm connecting with the earth and I'm doing my best to be able to make sure that I'm honoring the planet in a way that I'm connecting with people who I know are honoring the planet in their practices. The symbols of connectivity just go for the symbols of connectivity. If it feels disconnected in any way, then letting yourself you know, heal that threat within yourself that you feel compelled to go towards that, let yourself heal anything that uh, feels as though it pulls you off the track of divine grace. Um, and then I would finally, I'd say be a practical optimist. By that, I mean, you know, wear your mask. You just don't go out and say, oh, I'm, you know, dis I'll always be disease free because the divine has my back. Like, I truly believe that in my heart of hearts. I truly believe that in my heart of hearts. And yet I still eat organic food. And I truly know that I'm in this state of ever present grace, that I abide in the light. I truly know that. And yet I still do things like recycling. And I still do things like wear a mask in the middle of the pandemic because it feels connecting to me. And that to me feels like the utmost I can do with my own particular physical body to to prove that to myself how much I enjoy living in the light and appreciate the privilege I have to make cho choices like this, to have the mind and the capacity that I have, it feels like an act of gratitude. For me to be in a place where I take advantage of the opportunities that I have to cultivate a peaceful space for myself, walking on the street with social distance. I feel like that's an act of gratitude for me to take that opportunity to just say, thank you, God. I can be in a world where there's chaos ensuing right now, but I can make wise and centered choices that make me feel connected to the divine. That's where you want to be, in that place of self-care and self-reverence and self-love, and then engaging with the world in every way. I think that's it for, for what I had here about, you know, um, facing the challenge and being present. I, I really believe that, uh, okay, here's, here's a good one that I wrote down. One last final one here. Build a connection between yourself and the threat. 
so what I mean by that is we, we talk about this in a practical and pragmatic way. You don't turn a blind eye towards things that are disturbing. It doesn't mean, you know, look for the, the problem or the pain, especially if it feels unsettling. Feel your inner guidance. You know, the emotions of the inner guidance that you have are going to feel like they're off kilter and they're upset when you're looking at things you don't need to look at. But if you feel engaged or you feel grateful because you are in this space of relative safety and security with a home and, and with food and, and lights and things that you can feel comfort in, then when you start to look at the threat more closely, just like you're facing it, it starts to be less threatening. You start to realize, yeah, I, here I am in a, in a space that I know I'll be sent if I need to go anywhere. Tell me what to do. Tell me what to, where to go. Tell me what to say and to whom. So letting yourself not be oblivious, you be a practical realist when you're approaching things. You're, you're not this, uh, again, I find that even within the world of food, especially, and, and you know people who are used to alternative medicines, that's where a lot of the conspiracy theories are coming from. And it's, to me, it's so crazy because again, in my world, you know, writing books about food and spirituality, um, it was never about being someone who's ungrounded in an approach. It was about grounding us, you know, why you care about the earth and why you care about the foods you eat is about grounding us in things that then you think things all the way through with a capacity to be full circle and you don't get thrown off somewhere into a conspiracy theory that doesn't really literally doesn't make any sense to someone who's grounded in the truth. So yeah, just relax it, look at things in the eye, face them and you'll know what's the truth by walking through deliberately. You'll feel your guidance system telling you whether or not you want to go there and just pay attention in a self, very, very deliberately self-reverent way.